Hi everyone. We're going to uh, continue on with our word problems. These are more uh, based on business and finance. So we have George is going to buy 100 shares of stock. It's uh, $15 per share. Pays no dividends. That means we don't have to worry about adding extra money. So it's shows the annual rate of 15% per year, the history. So we need to know how much the 100 shares of stock will be worth in five years. So basically, uh, after we get to this stage, I assume you know your formulas, and we're just going to use our A equals P times 1 plus R over N times R to the T. So we get 15 times 1 plus 0 0.15, that's 15%, and it's five years, because we're not, um, we're just basing on an annual rate, so, and this gives us um, $30.17 per share. So if he buys 100 shares, multiply that by 100, and we get a total of about $3,017. Okay. Uh, another one with the stock thing with Stacy. So same thing. Um, so basically... Her broker says that it'll be worth twenty dollars in two years, and she's right now it's fifteen dollars. So this is the initial, and this is the final amount. So we're going to write twenty equals fifteen times one plus our rate. We need our rate of return, and it's in two years. So divide both sides by 15, and you get um, 4 thirds equals 1 plus R squared. Square root both sides. And we don't need to be plus and minus because um, we, don't, we can't have a negative value there. So we get R equals square root of four-thirds minus one, which is approximately 0 0.1547. Um, and to get your rate, that's going to be 15.47%. All right. The next one is a business problem. Again, we have the final amount, and we have the initial amount, and this is three years right there. So we're going to have 850000 equals 650000 times 1 plus R to the three years. And we're looking for the annual rate of return. So we're just going by annual, makes it easier. Divide both sides by um, 650,000. And that's going to be 85 over 65. And I guess you could reduce that even further. 1 plus R cubed. We're going to take the cube root of both sides. So you get the cube root of 85 over 65 equals 1 plus R. So R equals cube root of, um, and I reduce that, this is going to be 1.3077 minus 1, which is approximately 0 0.0935 which is approximately 9.35%. All right, and here we have another one. So, um, 
we have a diamond ring appraised at 5000 now. And they appreciated in value at an annual rate of 8%. So we want to know what the ring was 10 years ago. So instead of using the, uh, the formula, we're going to use A equals 5,000 times 1 plus 0 0.08. And we're going to use the negative 10 here. In fact, you can call this, we want to know what the principal amount was. So I'll change that to P. And um, when you work this out, you get this is 2,315.97. So that was the value of the ring 10 years ago. The next one. Uh, he places $1,000 in a bank account that pays six point, uh, 5.6 compounded continuously. That means we're going to use the um, A equals PE to the RT. All right. And after a year, we need to know if we have enough money to buy a computer system that costs 1060 and then we have to do another problem. So maybe I should write this over on the side. So we have uh, A equals 1,000. That's your principal. E to my rate, which is what? Okay. Um, 0 0.056. We're talking about one year. And this gives you 1,057 and 60 cents and so no he does Alex does not have enough money he's short two dollars and forty cents so let's see what happens if we compound it monthly we have a equals one thousand and we use this formula one plus zero and what it's five point nine percent zero point 0 0.059 and it's compounded monthly to 12 and we're talking about one year and when you work this out we get $1,060.62 so he um, it is a better deal and he will have enough money to buy the system okay um, we have Raven places $1,000 in a certificate of deposit. That's 6.8% compounded continu continuously and matures in three months. Okay, so then she places $1,000 in the interest rate in the passbook account that pays 5.25% compounded monthly. So we need to know how much does Raven have in the passbook account on May 1st. So basically, we have um, the first part, the three amounts, we have continuously, compounded continuously. So we have A equals 1,000 E and the interest rate is... 0 0.068 and uh, three months that's a fourth of a year so that one put 0.25 here and this gives you $1,017.15 okay so then she places um, let's see she wants to place it into uh, the passbook account. So we have A equals 1017.15. All right. Times 1 plus, And then we have 5 point, uh, 0 0.0525. That's your rate. 
over 12, because it's compounded monthly, and then you write uh, 12, and that's going to be monthly, so that's 1 over 12. And that gives her $1,021.60. So that's what she's going to have on May 1st. Okay, we have um, Will and Henry, and we want to see who has more money, Will or Henry, after 20 years. So Will, we're going to do him first. He has 9% compounded semi-annually. Let's look at semi-annual. Okay, so A equals 2,000, and it's 9%, uh, so it's 1 plus 0 0.09. This is twice per year, and it's 2, so that's going to be 40 years, so 2 times 20, 40 years, or 40 times it's, it's calculated, and we get 11,000. 632.73. Okay, Henry, on the other hand, he has 8%, 5. Point, I mean, 8.5% uh, compounded continuously, so we're going to use that formula with the P. So 2000 E, and it's uh, 0 0.08. Five and 20 years. And that gives you 10,947 dollars and 89 cents. So will has more money after 20 years. So um, I'll just put it will wins. Okay, next, last one. Um, Kaylin has access to an investment that will pay her 10% interest compounded continuously. Which is better, to be given $1,000 now so she can take advantage of this investment opportunity or to be given this uh, $1,325 after three years? So... We're going to look at the value of $1,000 compounded continuously at 10%. And that's going to be A equals 1,000 E, because it's compounded continuously, 0 .1, uh, 0 0.10 times 3, because we're looking at 3 years. And that gi this gives her um, 1,300 49 dollars and 86 cents so um, Kaylin will have more money if she takes the thousand dollars now and invest it okay that's all thank you have a nice day bye bye